Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review for Maybelline Shine Shot Prismatic Lip Top Coat. And there are two of these. One is just called Maybelline Shine Shot and it's clear and all it is really is just a glossy top coat. It's just a regular plain lip gloss that you can put on top of any lipstick. But this is the one that intrigued me. This is Prismatic. And this has been out for, I would say, probably like three months now. And it's $7.99 at Target. Uh, I'm sure you can get it at other places too for a different price. But at first I thought I didn't need this. I didn't want it. I wasn't even curious about it. Because I'm not a lip gloss person. And that's essentially what this is. It's a prismatic lip gloss that you can put on top of any lipstick. And I'm not a lip gloss person. However, we have been so into the matte lips for such a long time now that I think a lot of people might be looking to switch it up a bit and just try something different. Um, go back to using a gloss or have a shiny finish on their lipstick. But this is so much more than that. This has got a prism of color in it. And the color that it has, I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. It has, so it has like a white base with a prism of color. There are multifaceted colors mixed in there. And the colors that are in there are essentially cool tone shades. It's mostly like pink, purple, blue. So it's cool toned colors. And I thought, well, how versatile is that going to be? That means that I can, what, only put it over my cool tone lipsticks? And we're going into fall, so I thought, oh, that's, that's not going to be that versatile. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong on all accounts. You can put this over pretty much any lipstick you want and get a really pretty effect. And to demonstrate that today, I have on a cool beige, I'm sorry, a warm beige lipstick. I have on MAC Myth. And let me just hold that up so you can see for anybody that doesn't know what MAC Myth is. For somebody like me, this is not an easy lipstick to wear because it is very warm. It's like a peachy beige color. It's extremely light in color and isn't really that flattering on somebody like me who has cool toned skin. However, with the Maybelline Shine Shot Prismatic Lip Top Coat on top of it, changes everything. It makes this lipstick way more wearable for me and sort of brings it to life and I, I'm really enjoying this product. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting a swatch on my hand. So maybe you'll be able to see exactly what we're dealing with here. So see it's it's kind of a kind of a white base with colored prisms in it. You can see a hint of pink. Now if I shear this out just a tiny little bit. So yeah, it's like a prismatic collection of coolness. And you would think that if you put that over a warm lipstick, that it would not, <laughs> not be pretty, but I, I love what it's doing for this peachy beige lipstick. It's really bringing it to life and making it so much easier for someone like me to wear it. But I wouldn't say that you have to have cool toned skin to have this be pretty. I think it would be pretty on anyone really. And for $7.99, you could have so much fun playing with that over any of your lipsticks. Now, I wanted to also take 
some other lipsticks and show you what it would look like over those in case you were curious. So let's begin with a lipstick that I showed you in a recent haul video. This is Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. Um, that's the name of the lipstick. And the shade is cinnamon beige. This is the type of color that I think a lot of people gravitate to in the fall. It's like a deep nude and it's warm toned. So if I swatch that on my hand right next to that, you would you might be thinking, oh, that's that's not gonna work together. Well, let's take a look. So I'm just, oh, this has a uh, plastic applicator on it. All right, that is maybe not, not the best combination, okay? So yeah, maybe, maybe this is better. I had never, I hadn't tried anything like that yet. So you're finding out along with me. So yeah, I don't think that's, that's very pretty. So it might be better suited to light shades of lipstick. Important to know. Let's try something else, just, just to see. I brought out MAC Studded Kiss, which is a, a warm burgundy. And I suspect that we may get the same type of effect with that. I don't think this is going to work with warm dark lipsticks. Hmm, I don't know. That that's pretty wild. <laughs> I don't I don't think uh that would be very wearable for every day, but wow, what an interesting effect that gives. All right, what else did I bring out here? I also brought out Mac Hug Me. And this is kind of a a light to medium nude, I would say. And it's, in terms of tone, hmm, geez, I don't know, that's pretty neutral, because I, I, it looks a little pinky, a little peachy, so we're going to go with light to medium nude for MAC Hug Me, just to show you a variety of lipsticks and what this might look like on them. Oh, that's pretty. That one I like. So yeah, I think you have to go like light to medium in color and then I don't think the tone really matters, but on the darker lipsticks it's gets kind of crazy. <laughs> like with that Mac Studded Kiss one. But you know, if you want something wild like that, that that is kind of pretty actually. I don't know. I think that'd be too much though, for, like I said, for an everyday look. Now what if you do something cool tone? I showed you in a recent haul video that I got this uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang Marc Jacobs La Creme lipstick. This is a rosy shade and it's like a medium rose. So in theory, if we think about color theory, this Maybelline top coat probably will look pretty on top of that because it's a cool tone. It should should coordinate well with it, but let's find out. Let's find out together. Yep, that looks good. It's, I think it's pretty. So uh, there is oh, there is one more I want to show you, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this. This is NYX Extra Creamy Round Lipstick in Power, which is like a, um, a lilac or a lavender. And let's just do this one last lipstick.
All right, so that's that's what it looks like just swatched. Ooh, matches my nail polish. <laughs> and that is with the Maybelline top coat over it. So that really complements it well. But I just basically wanted to do this video to show you what this could do and what it might look good with, what it might not look good with. I just pretty much found out together because I just got this over the weekend and it is a typical lip gloss in terms of consistency. You know, it's it's tacky, it's sticky, it's when when you go outside and the hair the wind blows your hair and it goes across it's just going to stick <laughs> all the annoying things that lip glosses tend to do but if you're looking for something different to play with and transform any lipstick uh depending on what types of colors and tones you have in your collection you might be interested it might be worth it to you to spend eight dollars to um see what this can do for your lipstick collection so if you have any questions of things that I didn't address, let me know. And uh, that's it for today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.